Hello and welcome back and we are going to play Dunderberg by uh, Chicken Wings which is oh why can my why is my chat not going properly there we go um who is from Pithy's team and it looks like he's built on Rhino's plot and this one I think has only come out this evening um let's go with pin four for a change yeah, so I didn't want to play the two console designs back to back, so no goal I'm aware I haven't yet played yours, but I will do. Um, I just didn't really want to leap into comparison mode, and I thought it would be unavoidable. So, um, Rhino's plot. I think we are yet to see a publish on this, other than from Rhino himself. Um, and his was tricky in a different sense. So you had these access roads, you had this really cool plot with loads of interesting land movement, a very cool creek and some restrictions and the restrictions were very restrictive particularly when you started working out what they were number one was that you couldn't plant new trees you had to just leave the ones that were already there um, but you could plant some feature trees in and amongst them um, number two was teas and greens had to be really close together so i think it was 30 yards but you could break it and go to 60 yards from green edge to tea three times in the round which was a nice kind of that made things a little bit easier um but yeah and as a result of all of the planting that was done on the plot which looks awesome um it then meant that oh why is it not saved the name properly we're not streaming that course anyway um as a result of that it meant that planting could be limited by what you could do and could manage to fit in but yeah the plot itself was absolutely gorgeous and tons of fun and I don't doubt that people would have found some similar plot uh, holes around this plot. You also had to build a halfway house, which I assume... I know that's if you didn't return to the clubhouse at nine, which nobody will do on this plot, really. Um, you'd end up building a halfway house, which I assume must be what this thing is over here. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a... Or oh, that's just a house, who knows? Yeah, things and stuff. Ooh. We've got some other bits down here. I mean, this plot is just one of the most fun ones. Oh, so we put the the water wheel is fun. That's the one. Oh, hey, Jicken. So Jicken's course and Jicken we've got in chat as well. I think this was the most fun plot to fly around and, like, imagine building holes on. And then when it came to actually building holes on it, it became a lot trickier than people initially thought. Um, but having like spent a good amount of time on this one, I think there's a load of really good stuff. Um, and the trick was just like, how do you tie those together in a seamless routing? Looks like you haven't done all that much close to the creek or the river in this bit. So it comes in here. Yeah, so let's zoom out and you can see the whole thing. But yeah. All right. Let's go to our first tee then and give this one. I, I mean, if we play remotely as well as the previous round, we'll be doing well. Um, and you could choose to cart path it, though, if you didn't want to go for the walkable stuff, but you wouldn't put a cart path on this property. Okay, I love this green site. I think it's really nice that you've elevated it above the water, so it still feels like the water's in play, but in reality it's not really. Like, that's interesting. Smaller green, like kind of a little tiered, but like... There's a lot of interest there. Yeah. Okay. And then we can play, we dare, closer to the water, which would be a lot better for those back pins. For this pin, I feel like I just want to lay up and leave a wedge, right? Um, I kind of, I would love a bit more fairway short, but I don't need it. I just want to be able to lay way back. Okay, well, we've found a flat part. Yeah. Okay. No, that'll be all right, actually. I like the little, I like the little touches of colour you've put down here as well. Hmm. We got our distance about right. I just hate these parts. I always either overhit them or underread them. Never get them right. There we go. Okay, we get one. Strong first hole. Okay. Elevated tee shot down over the creek. I like this one as well. Okay. I am trying to work out where you... St oh, you started up there. 
Ah, interesting. It's really fun when you've been poking around the same plot for months, seeing how someone else interpreted it. And that's going to be like the best part of this contest. And yeah, you get the waterfall in the distance. You frame that really nicely off the tee. That, there's lots of that that looks absolutely beautiful. Love that. Uh, okay, one, four, three down. Yeah, this, maybe. Slight fast just to make sure we get it back there. Pretty good. So I believe you, Chicken's on Dan's team, I think, which was Q, Dan, Stay Puff, No Goal, and I'm blanking on the last person. Which was a pretty, I remember thinking was a pretty strong team when it came out. Okay, playing back over the creek, par three second holes, yeah. Gotta love them. Oh, hockey guy, yes. Okay. So we've got bunker clusters and then winding our way up and we've got all sorts of layup zones and things. But that is a par four. So we're going for it into, I like the bowl front. Yeah, do not want to go right. Okay. Might I like to see, again, this is personal preference because I'm not judging it, but if you've got a really big runoff left, it might be cool to have fairway right. So it's maybe not so pinched, especially on a very long par four which is also really uphill. But again, not my plot to judge. So who knows, what, and frankly, who knows what Rhino likes. Not convinced Rhino does. Okay, so, but even then, we're still playing a 9-9 in. Ridiculous game. Um, and I think it will be a 9-9 with that stance. I like the green sculpting. I like that you've gone with just kind of one big feature and then we've worked off that. Yeah, they're doing some great jobs. I think this is going to be like... You wouldn't want to do this contest too often. It was a par 5 in a past life. That would make sense. It's the layup zone certainly presents as well. Oh, Hello. Yeah, I think this is going to be one of those contests. We don't run it too often, but when you do, it's just like, it's, I will say for captains, it's crazy time intensive and like the amount of time giving feedback and producing plots is like, that's a ton. But I kind of think it's worth it. It's, like it's been a lot of fun and you'll get some really good stuff and hopefully like just helps people do things a bit differently as well. Love the way this one presents. I like that you're seeing the water down there as well. Done really well to find, like, I guess so many tee to green transitions that allow you to have those downhill tee shots with the sweeping views, because that's a good way to make the most of this plot. Okay. I like that this green's uncluttered in front as well. That was important after the last one to vary that. Uh, oh, we're okay. I thought that was going way further right. I think Rhino also wanted this course to be a match play one, however we interpreted that, if memory serves. So like half part holes and things like that. Okay, so, so it was quite fun working out where you are in relation to the previous green as well. Okay, so we're just playing back and parallel. This is a good climbing hole, and I think that, I love that view all the way up to the green and just seeing the flag, like the really clean sight line is good. Okay, a bit of a hog's back, which is nice. And then, yeah, kind of punch bowly. Love this green. Like the green contouring and stuff around it. And bunkers nestled in are nice as well. Okay, I'm okay with just cling to the fairway, please. That is a, a pretty challenging shot. I could have seen this one being a par five as well in a previous life, actually. Okay, well, I mean, let's just hope. No, that's too much. I was not confident on that part at all. 
Uh, okay, a little double breaker there. Yeah, got it. The light after that first poor part. And then you've got the T just behind, which is nice. Okay, so kind of similar green sight in terms of how it presents from the T, but a very different style of hole. We could lay way back or down here. I like that the green wants you to get this sort of an angle, which takes you close to land movement, moving you down off the fairway. Um, would I ever try to drive this? I don't think I'm good enough. I'm sure somebody is, but not me. Uh, might hit a three wood here, though. I don't think I mind that idea. Kind of okay being around here. Because I've got a little bit of a backstop if I can chip up. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it isn't, but I feel like short is a good miss because if I play short, I'm probably bouncing up and I'm leaving the downhill part. If I go long on that chip, it's always coming back. Which is fun. Like I could see people playing that hole loads of different ways. Nice. I like that you've not done any bunkering on this one as well. Like this, this does seem like a plot that's been advised by Dan. There's lots of just good decisions. Um, okay, or you can take way over the feature tree, I guess. Wee, that's a fun tee shot. I'm sure you can probably always carry it, but it just feels fun, just not quite knowing. And then par five. Okay. Yeah, I could see how you could make this work to that pin and go further left. Right, let's hit a good three iron. Ah, oh, no, that is not a good three iron. But this is fine. Oh, I didn't quite throw it enough. Saw the backstop, just hoped. That'll do there. I think with this course, you're going to get uh, this plot. Sorry, you're going to get a lot of courses that look kind of similar, and but just like when you're playing it, you just feel like it's a completely different plot. Because like this feels very different to the course I might have designed on this plot. I keep forgetting now. I can tell people I'm not on one. And which plot I was on. Um, so yeah, I certainly would have done it very differently and gone different directions. It's cool. It's nice seeing how people interpret things differently. Okay. Uh, that's a long par three for a... Like, yeah, this is tough. Down 20 feet, so it's going to carry a little bit on. Wind slightly with me. I'd probably push it a little further. Right between. Let's go for it. Oh, and then we just pull it because I was trying to hit it fast and got too much. Well, this is the worst miss possible. Uh, I guess we can kind of land it just on here and then maybe it rolls down. I can't remember how fast the greens were. Nah, you just land in the fringe. Not a good ship. Not a good... Well, the tee shop's the killer. And that is too gentle on that line. Deserved a bogey. Uh, then again, that's a tough hole. Okay. Disconnected green. We've had a few of them now, but it's not feeling repetitive necessarily. I do think some of the green sculpting game, and so this, I would have tried to avoid this sort of green directly after the last one where we've got that back shelf, front shelf, and it's kind of side on. It's a little similar, perhaps. Definite risk to the tee shot, but I could lay back. Whee! More an observation rather than a criticism, really. Um, very much not my place to criticise on this plot, so uh, hence why I'm kind of just doing showcase streams. 
Ah, no set. Yeah, it's been fun. Oh, that's a nice bunker shot. Yeah, I think we, this plot, I think, will be really interesting to see how different people went and where the competition is to think. Yeah, plus you got Rhino judging, so who knows what's going to happen. Oh, okay, so we get, we're now out here and that's the hole. Okay. Uh, yeah, I should be clearing that bunker, right? I'm just so bad with elevation change. I just, I, I'm not bad at maths. I just swear it plays differently to what I think. Okay, it's part five. That's kind of, so we're going kind of core and Crenshaw template with that, I guess. Go on, bounce down, gets the angle, and then we've got a full wedge. Lovely. Okay, very good. Nice creek planting I have not really looked at and looks nice. Does look good. Cool. I have an idea of where I'm at on the plot for the first time in a little while. Okay, yeah, I can see a par three here. There's a long par three for water just down the left. And a bunker. That, the pin we've got here is going to be, I'm delighted I didn't get it. Let's put it that way. Uh, um, right, but right between clubs, I feel like that's not going to go far enough. That will be just fine. Somewhere into the heart of the green's okay. Oof, and then a downhill part somewhere over here, maybe. Just get it started and let it go. Yep, that's what we needed. Hmm. Okay, par five as well. So real scoring stretch. Oh, well, I say that. Two par fives sandwiched with a brutal par three. So that's actually really good match play. Oh, I like this green. I like how here it doesn't feel like the tier was the main thing. It's like got little rolls. Easy hole, yes. So little rolls and mounds, I think, make for... I would. I think they make for more interesting starting points with greens. Okay, now I'm lost again. I don't really know where. Oh, so we've gone past that part. Okay, right. Okay, no, no, I know where we are now. So weird to feel like you know a plot really well, and yet I don't know the course on the plot at all. Bounce up. There we are. That needs to hold his line now. Nah. Could have been better. Could have been a few better on this course. Maybe your best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just just the best blurb. Bless Rory. That's the only blurb he hasn't actually heard. For good reason. He's heard his bit of it. Okay. This pen's challenging. Um, I like the green site. I like that you've given us a way to get to this hole. Yeesh. There is not much of a miss to this pen. Hit a good shot, I guess. Uh, there. Central of the green, little draw. Could be good. Feels okay. Probably going a bit too far. Yeah, that's all right. That's when we just got, sometimes it's just hit a good shot. And on a like, match play course, that completely works. I'm really enjoying this. Okay, string of par fours and a par five finish. Okay, you would be absolutely mad if you took driver on this line. 
Okay, well, we're at our half par hole for sure. Uh, let's go somewhere over here then. Probably not full driver, but just somewhere this way. Don't go through. Arf. I don't think it's necessarily needed it, but I do think light rough might have been a nice touch in places. It's the more I've designed in this game and how penal the heavy rough is. Did you? Yeah, I bet. It's just, it's one of those where you'll have it on quite a number of courses where there's a connector hole you've just got to find something for. Um, I remember for my plot it was 17 and 8, I think, the one by the lake, just trying to get to that. But yeah, yeah it works, it's different. Uh, sometimes it just needs to be something that you haven't done already. Okay. I've lost where we are again. But that's okay. I don't need to know where we are. Ah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I agreed. No, I think it knows, this course knows what it wants to be. And also, it is, it, I definitely think it's hit the match play thing. Oh, for goodness sake, that. Playing back to the middle, that makes sense. Like, as in, I feel there's a ton of half pole holes on this. They're things like this. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not 100% on the green shape here. I have to say, kind of want to just play it. Ah, oh, I like the severity of the runoff down here, because I would, if this weren't moving so steeply, I would 100% be playing driver and just take that chip. But now, I just feel like I've got, I really do have a decision to make no matter what, because I don't think I can get a great angle into this, no matter what I do. Uh... I think it's a good sign that I am considering very, very carefully where I go and what I do. And in the end, I kind of like bouncing down to the flatter part here. I didn't quite make it and leaving a full wedge. I thought I had it just right. Hmm. Strategy is good. It works. Yep. This is what we do. But honestly, like holes with like courses where it is point and shoot, I'm really bad at. Courses where I feel like I can lean into hole designs and place different areas and like plot my way around, I find it might just be me enjoying it a bit more, but I find I play better. Also, like, I don't know, my putting is never normally this good. Blind squirrel and nuts and all that. Okay. Oh, now we play our way back down towards the creek. Okay, we go to the top of this part here. Uh, I think here. And tempo has been pretty good for a change. Like the controller's decided it's got enough charge to. Like most of my my rounds, I will have a very fast somewhere because the controller just simply hasn't registered. Uh, ooh, okay. I appreciate this. I'm right between clubs. I think I could probably go for it. There's what you've done really well on this course I, is like there have been so many shots where I feel like I am taking a chance and you're tempting me just enough to take that chance, but also providing me so much space that I could easily not win going that way. I can't hit a better one than that. Oh no, wind did too much. Damn it. I really thought I had that. Ugh. 
Now we're just going to flub it into the water again. Oh no. Ooh, it's the bead under my feet that's worrying me. Yeah. Just thought it was going to push it a little more. Okay, got to make a birdie on 18. Oh, this is... Is this similar to Rhino's 18th? But somehow with an even narrower fairway. Oof. I'm a bit punch bowl at least. Okay, well that kind of... Does kind of incentivize me to play here. Can I reach with two three woods? Maybe not into the wind. Let's just hit a little... Oh, damn it, it's gone through. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, just somewhere up here is good. I do like the planting in that little area. And yeah, this looks really nice. Strong par 4 to end on, which I like. Yeah, always going to be tricky off the uphill light. Oh, we're going to finish bogey bogey. That's disappointing. I really enjoyed that. That was a load of fun. Um, despite the bogey bogey finish. I just like totally gets the match play. It tempted me into taking... a. I, I could have easily birdied 17 if I played the layup, but chose to go for getting on. I wouldn't say easily birdied. That would have been a tricky chip over. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, both of those courses were really enjoyable to play. And like, yeah, it's just going to be so cool to see these all coming out. So yeah. Um, thanks guys for stopping along and watching and hope you have a good rest of your evening and see you again soon. I've got, I've got one more to play.